Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann and I just realized that I have not made a setup video in quite a while and there have been major changes in my setup of my Franklin Covey compact sized with 40 millimeter rings and there were a couple of things I learned too over the past week about my Franklin Covey. Now first up about the binder, this was given to me as a rack because uh, the person who gave it to me her name is Deborah. She knows that I really love big rings and I already had a Franklin Covey with very, very big rings, but it was a brown zipped one. And because of the zipper, the binder needed to be uh, taller and wider to accommodate the pages even when the binder is zipped closed. So it made things a little bit larger. And I was wondering, I was actually on the lookout for a binder with very large rings that had a trap closure so that um, it would be uh, narrower and um, a little bit shorter and she gave this to me just from out of the blue so I'm really really very happy with that I got this in September 9 <laughs> of course I remember the day um, and this is what I've been using ever since I'm still on here this is genuine leather I don't know the name of the model but I have named her Audrey because um, I have named her Audrey because she reminds me so much of the color combination of, of the 1960s. Pink and black is very, very 1960s, especially if they're in s large s chunks, solid chunks of contrasting black and pink colors and um, it reminds me so much of Audrey Hepburn who was an icon of the 1960s so I really love the color combination and um, this is actually more salmon than true pink but I love it anyway and I had I have this charm it's made of onyx and black obsidian in a silver me metal setting it's not real silver it's just a, a metal setting that has a silver color and over here I have teeny tiny wings a pair of wings that's also in silver um so on to the inside of the binder Ooh. here i have um the four cards that i use all the time when making purchases now this one slot here has a gas card but i forgot it, it I, I left it in the car because i gassed up this morning and so those are the first four cards and this is a page lifter that came with a day timer so I took that and used it here and I just stuck a sticker on here and this one came from a rack and over here I have a secretarial pocket which has some slips of paper that I need to uh, file away and over here is my business card and over here is a um, divider that I made and laminated and I designed this myself using vectors in Adobe Illustrator this one here the frame the, the the ornate frame with the scroll work or the leaves or something like that actually is part of a set that i purchased from shutterstock which i have a subscription to and um, these were transparent except for the two accents right here and then when i placed the whole thing on the striped background which i also created from from zero these are all vectors they kind of didn't show up because these were transparent and the whole back of it was transparent so what I did was I created uh, a, a mask that was colored white and put it at the back of these parts and also created a pink uh, background for the border so that the, the whole thing will be pink except for the white accents and then when I placed them onto the um, the black and white striped uh, background that I created, it turned out really, really well. Um, and that's the great thing about vectors. You can pretty much do anything you want with it, and you can blow it up to billboard size or uh, print it out in very, very small, teeny, teeny size, um, and you will still get a very clear, crisp image because vectors are not um, governed by pixels. You, you don't need to set a resolution. Uh, instead, vectors are defined by math. Um, I'm not sure if that would make sense to most people, but I'm sure graphic artists would know what I mean. And I'm only learning the terminology 
these uh, these past few months it's these past few months is the only time that I really got into the terminology of everything because I'm so fascinated with it but I've been using all of these design and graphic softwares for years <laughs> without really understanding what I could do and it's only for the past year or so that I truly truly started um, maximizing my use of them so anyway that's the divider um, I made them two-sided those are two I printed out the whole thing on two sheets of paper and then pasted them back to back and laminated them and they rounded the corners and as you can see the tabs are this way because it's deliberate because the, the planner is thick this one has 1.5 inch rings actually 1.6 because if I measure inside to inside horizontally um, it comes out as exactly 40 millimeters and if you convert that it comes out as 1.6 inches but that's not how Franklin Covey labels its rings it labels its rings at one inch one and a quarter one and a half and that's it I have to follow that standard but the actual ring measurement is 1.6 inches but it's marketed as 1.5 inches just so nobody will be looking for compact size Franklin Cubbies with 1.75 inch rings anymore <laughs> I think I kind of led people into a wild goose chase a couple of years a couple of months back so anyway that's how the tabs look and I've pretty much memorized the order of these sections so I don't really need to I don't really need to um, to see where they are I can kind of just grip them that okay this would be it and so I'm on the daily uh, section so that's it anyway I'm getting ahead of myself this is the first section this is me this carries everything that an ID would usually carry so I have identification cards I have um, HMO cards, I have loyalty cards, membership cards, uh, rewards cards, and this is great. You know, this is what my SIM card came in, and I keep this because the iPhone 5S uh, uses a nano SIM, but sometimes, it, you know, I, I, I don't want to bring my iPhone everywhere with me, especially when I go to certain places that is not very, very safe. I don't even bring whenever I have to go to those places for research I don't really carry a big bag I don't carry my laptop I don't carry any expensive things I don't even carry my my binder and I don't even carry a pocket I just take some cash uh, I, I don't even carry a wallet I mean I just take the cash that I need put it in my jean pocket and then carry a very very cheap phone that cost me I think 800 700 pesos 700 Philippine pesos which takes a regular size SIM card so in order for me to be able to still use my number so that people can still call me even when I'm not using my iPhone I just put the nano SIM back in here and take this out and then that that whole thing that's what I put into the very very cheap phone and it works very well and just one look at that phone no thief is ever going to even try to steal that away from me and if, even if they do I can easily just have the sim card blocked and they can sell off that phone for I don't know however if they can because it's really really so cheap um, and this is the sim card this is the card that came with my prepaid sim this is my postpaid a uh, regular permanent line that I've had for years and years and that's the uh, serial number for all of them and over here I have more cards I've covered up I've covered up the important things so that even if you pause this you won't be able to see anything any information that could compromise me now here is the, the it, this is not a credit card this is actually a flash drive that's a giveaway by a an insurance company I was supposed to return this because I did some work for them but when I returned it because this is how they gave me the file they put the file here and gave this to me and then when I was done I was returning this to them and they said I could keep it and over here I have my uh, Ziploc pouch daytime branded that's where I keep my cash and over here I have uh, I've gotten to the habit of making these teeny tiny pouches I want to show you how I did this um, I use the impulse sealer let me see if I can get this into the print. It's kind of huge. But I really want to show this to you guys. Um, it's this one. It is an impulse sealer. 
And this, what, you plug this in, and then you take a piece of celluloid plastic, and then you just, okay, let me take that again. So you just plug this in to an electrical socket, and then you take a piece of plastic, and then you, you put it in there, and then you, oops, sorry, I hit my clamp. And you press that down for about a second, and it seals the plastic shut by using heat. And it's very, very safe, and you can adjust the heat settings on here. It depends on the thickness of the plastic that you're using. And this is what I use to seal all of the parcels that I ship out um, from my Etsy store and for racks because the, the post office has not been very careful. There have been instances in which, um, in which uh, some of my, my calendar pages got wet and um, thankfully uh, they were not really that noticeable but I, I don't want my clients to be receiving parcels that are wet. So that one, that impulse sealer pretty much seals everything. And um, now these things I have also created from that impulse sealer and celluloid plastic. This is my solar parent ID. Um, I cannot lamin laminate this because um, a person has to sign this every year, every January for it to be valid on the year. Like she signed this in January, so I was able to use to claim my benefits as a solo parent in 2014. But now it's December and uh, I have to get her to sign this in January so that I can be eligible for the benefits of, uh, of a um, solo parent anyway. But I also have to show this every now and then to people. So I put that here and place them on the rings there. So I, it's protected because if it's in a pocket somewhere and I don't see it, I always feel that I have already lost it and I get panicky and then I frantically look into that pocket and then I see that it's there and oh, thank God, but I just don't need that, that much stress in my life. And over here, this is the same thing that I did with um, my car registration it's the same thing just use the heat sealer on it and over here is the uh, and e every time I have to take this out I just take it out of the rings but most of the time they are on the rings because people hardly ever actually want to look at the whole sheet they just glance at it and then see that everything is okay and then I'm already on my way and here is a warranty for the uh, new life proof case that I bought for my iPhone 5 because I somebody stole my iPhone 5 which had a life proof case and then my provider gave me another iPhone 5 this time it's an iPhone 5s for free and then I bought another life proof case for it because I go swimming and I really really just toss my phone around so uh, it gets dinged so that it will not get dinged I use a life proof case for it here's just some um, important phone numbers and then over here I have my medication section um, I am actually not on anything this is just my hormone calendar I'm not on anything right now this is just all that there is in this section but uh, from time to time things change in here so it's always there and whenever I'm on medication I always make it a point that while the medication is still running the prescriptions are there because that's where the doctor also says that uh, the, the duration of the time in which I'm supposed to be on that medication so that when um, like I have to declare anything I have to go travel or things like that I have to declare the medications that I have been taking and to justify that they were prescribed to me by my doctors that's why that's on there and then over here I have uh, an inspired section I didn't used to have this but I kind of like having this now I've had this section for a couple of months already but um, I liked it, so I'm keeping it here. And over here, I have just lumped together all the things that make me happy and all the things that make me think good thoughts. Um, this used to be on the front, but it's gotten, um, you know, like all beat up. I should reprint this, you know. And this is my uh, favorite poem, one of my favorite poems. And these are the slips of uh, care. Um, instructions that went with my crystal pendants I just 
put them on here although I, I already know how to do it so I should take them out because they are no longer relevant and this is the dedication page for my green adventurin pendant and this is the dedication page for my moonstone pendant and over here I found an old photo of my son he no longer looks like this I mean he's 15 years old now <laughs> so I figured it will be safe to to uh, show people how he looked like when he was still a baby he was so so cute he was so fat look at that he's too fat <laughs> he he actually thought it was jumping very very high but no and this was taken on the same afternoon this is so adorable this is one of my favorite pictures of him and this is him when he was like six or seven I don't remember. It doesn't look like this anymore. And then over here I have, oh, this is a picture that I really, really like. This was taken in 1976. And um, people who were already born on that day in that family are in this picture. That's me right there in red. And that's my mother and that's my dad. And those are the cousins who were already born in 1976. Uh, and those are my dad's this is actually my dad's family this is my dad's mother and this is taken I, th I think a few days after uh, my grandfather died so people were still in black that was in red that's me um, so I really like that picture so I printed it out and put it on my file packs uh, I mean my friend Frank Cubby and here, here is the boyfriend and just some notes on exchange rate if what it needs to remember his normal blood pressure and his medication and here is another uh, here is another point that I like it's called point for people that are understandably too busy to read poetry by Stephen Dunn <laughs> now I sure can relate so much to this poem and if you want me to if you want this I just send me a just place a comment down below I can maybe copy paste this right there on the comment if it fits or something. I just found this online. I'm not sure where I got it. This has been with me for years and years and years. I can share it with you guys. And also here I have a poem by a Filipino award-winning poet, Ricardo M. de Umbria, and it's called Afternoon with Young Writer and a Cup of Coffee. And then I have here a list of 12 stressful things to stop tolerating. Oh, you know about this I think I found this in one of our Facebook groups and then I just copy pasted it and then printed it out and then here is a quote from Italo Calvino on why read the classics and then I have a bucket list that's basically it I have no spare pages on here because usually I put my spare pages here sorry I put my spare pages on this secretarial pocket and over here is the daily section wherein I have my daily pages. And oh, by the way, I have started to use the tipping method by Shang Chen. This is also what the, it is also a method used by DIY fish inserts. So, you know, you have the fold outs, and you can actually tip in extra sheets, or you can change the order of the sheets that are already folded out, and you can convert them from fold out to tip in. What the difference between the two is a fold out is it's already manufactured that way but a tip in is when you do it yourself and you append it to already existing pages so what this is is it's a weekly task list so that it moves every time I turn the daily pages so I, I find that it works better for me this way. And then when the week is done, I just fold this in. Or I, I, if I'm planning out the incoming week, I have another task list here for the week of December 8 to December 14. So if, I'm, if there are some things that still have not been done on this list, I just copy them here or into the week that I, I think I can be able to do it. And then I just fold it in and then start on the next week. And at the back of it is blank. But what I'm going to be using this for is um, to have a weekly review of where I spent all my time 
where I spent all my money and where all my money came from. So that's basically what I need to to uh, see in my um, weekly summary. So that's it. Those are the daily pages. Right now I'm on the Christmas tree because it's Christmas. However, I've already decided on my planner pages for January and this is this. It's this girl studying with earphones on um, and because the, the first, the second semester is going to be starting in January. I'm, I'm studying for my second master's degree and uh, I'm probably going to look like that girl. So I'm going to be using this for um, January. But it's the same layout as the one that I need for December. And next section that I have is the monthly section. It's just for forward planning. Once I have my daily pages for January already in this section, I will take this out so that I'm going to be having February next. And um, here I have my finance section, which I won't show you. This is really just a list of things, financial matters to uh, deal with and lists and things that people to pay, um, loans to pay off, because I'm kind of working on that. And budgets, these are in here. And then this is this is labeled ghosts, <laughs> but it's actually the section for my uh, university for my second master's degree that I'm getting because I am there because my uh, my body of work is in spectralities, and it's really about ghosts, finding the ghostly in everything, and what our ghosts tell us about national identity, about our um, individual identity, things like that ghosts both real or ghosts both actual in literature and ghosts that are imagined in literature and it carries just my um, matriculation form some forms and then over here here I have the it's a printout of the academic calendar that I have downloaded from the uh, university website and here is my five-year study plan as outlined by my enrollment advisor that I have to um, finish. Now as I finish every uh, uh, subject, I put in the grade there. I got a grade of 1.0 on my very first subject and that's the highest grade that anybody can ever achieve in a subject. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, we have a grade point average to maintain and that is, uh, it's actually not very high the grade point average that we have to maintain but getting one is really really awesome so I kind of worked so hard for that and these are just um, some classes that I want courses that I want to enroll in probably as a cognate or if I have some extra time left which might never happen but I just thought I should list them down there and over here is a journal section um, which has nothing much because I no longer journal which is why I track so much on my planner pages because I hardly ever journal anymore so this is a very very thin section but I still think that it's important to put this on there just in case I think about journaling when I'm on the fly like if I'm outdoors or in a beach or somewhere uh, stuck in a restaurant while waiting out the traffic so I can put that in there. I think it's still important to have some semblance of a journaling life. And this is what it signifies. And then here, <laughs> this is called Planet G, but it's really, it's really the section for my day job. It's the GSI, as I call it, Planet G, because it's, it's, it's a huge building with like over 2,000 people. It's like a planet into itself, with its own culture and its own species of people. And then over here I have some notes and then the directory for the entire system, the entire GSIS system, all the branches nationwide, all the people in the building. And I don't want to keep this in my phone because I don't even call most of these people. But in case I'm out of the office, I know their numbers in case I need to call them, even if I don't really know them, but I know them by name and I have to talk to them about work I would know which numbers to call and over here I have a, a small pouch that I again made with the impulse sealer and this just has my notepad in it and um, that's really really all now um, I don't uh, here's another look at the top 
tabs there so that's my setup in Audrey right now and I don't really have a project section in this anymore because um, I recently started using the GTD system now I've heard about the 43 folder system which is a method under GTD but I thought that handling 43 folders every day was so daunting I mean they're so huge and they're all over the place you have to have a stand for them they have to sit at a desk or or else they will topple if the surface is not stable but then I saw the video of um, Alexis aka Miss Trenchcoat she's on YouTube and I'll link the video down below and she uses 43 folders in an A5 size file packs and I said I never thought of it that way that's it's really great now you can really use the 43 folders not as actual folders but as um, you know um, not the traditional folder that you have to have a box for so I thought I might as well use the binder system um, let me just flip this open make sure it I'm sorry it's so big it's an a4 size binder standard three holes I just purchased the plastic um, pockets for them and what 43 folders is is it's actually 43 folders or sleeves and there is one for every day of the month and another one for every month of the year that's why I have 31 which is the maximum number of days that any month can have plus 12 months so that's why it's 43 folders but I did add one sleeve for inbox which is where I will pile everything into and then just um, when I have time uh, I will distribute them into the proper sleeves and then I have an extra sleeve here for supplies like for post-its extra paper things like that um, and, and then I labeled this in two sides and I chose the dark blue material so that it will match the blue on the front of the sheet now this is just a plain white uh, binder that I bought this is really